Welcome to Sicily by Ape. Mazamemi is a charming town located in Sicily, known for its exotic flair and its origins as a fishing village. Founded by Arabs and originally called Masa al Amen, which translates as Harbour of the Turtle Doves, the town has unique architecture with stone block buildings clustered around wide piazzas punctuated with archways and splashed with turquoise painted doors, giving it a Moroccan or Arab feel. The town has a long history in tuna fishing and packing, and traditional food production, such as marinated anchovies and salami made from tuna. I just crashed the drone. Okay. There it is. Oops. It's okay. Okay, no problem. We're okay. Che tu un'altra vita eri siciliano. Ah sì. Sì. Sicuro. Do you come back uh, in Cianciana with Ape? Sì. Sì. I I left Cianciana eh <laughs> Because you quarter journey fast. Ah, but you ca Quattro. you cannot drive in motorway with Ape. No, I know. So I that it's very difficult. So see. you may ah, understand. See. Okay. Strada destra mare. So you are very you are very brave. Yeah. Or pazzo. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Grazie. Grazie. Ciao, ciao. Grazie. They were just lovely. It's one of my favorite things here. You just gotta follow your nose. And the biggest thing I think with filming that I've learned is always just ask. When I just did the film Code Red, it was the same thing to get the police car. We were like, yeah, that's crazy. We probably, I mean, what's the likelihood of getting a police car to film a chase scene? In America, and I mean, well, not all of America, but you know, any big city, even here in Italy, like that's impossible. It'd be, it's a crazy thing to ask. You need permits, you need the ability to close down roads, and you know, it's just a lot of paperwork and a lot of money. 
And here, you just ask, and amazing things happen. That driveway when I pass, I was like, that is incredible. I would love to film that. And I just called, it's a, it happens to be a and b but just a, a family-run business. And I just called, and she was so sweet. And then the dad and the son happened to pull up, and uh, they let me film. And then I crashed the drone into one of their olive trees. So, you know. Hopefully I left a lasting memory for them. <laughs> Luckily the drone's all good. It's actually, that's the first time I've crashed a drone in probably like seven years, so. But like I said, that's part of this whole thing. It's just really difficult to get good shots while driving the Ape, so I hope the shots are worth it. All right, on to Noto. Now we're gonna be on the highway, so I'm just gonna kind of cruise and, and get up there and once we get there, see what see what's going on about this whole flower festival. Well, you can tell that this flower festival must be a big thing because I'm still 1.2 miles from the center, I guess, and the traffic is crazy. I can't believe I can't believe how many. Uh, cars there are, there's just tons and tons of people, so finding somewhere to park is going to be interesting and I'm definitely going to take all of my stuff with me. The Baroque city of Noto hosts an annual event called the Infiorata, where the town becomes an important tourist center and attracts visitors from all over Italy. The event features a carpet of flowers that covers the Via Corrado Nicolacci, which is designed and drawn by local artists inspired by a single theme chosen each year. The sketch represents the coat of arms of Noto. The carpet is about 700 square meters and requires the use of about 400,000 flowers, including daisies, roses, carnations, and various wild flowers. It's been held annually for over 20 years, an event not to be missed. This is nuts. Can you see all these people? It's so busy. All right, just got back to the Ape. Do a little temperature check. We are reaching 45 degrees Celsius. Woo. It's like an oven. I knew that when I parked it, I had a feeling the, uh, the shade would only last so long. So I'm gonna park it back up here and then get some lunch. It's better. It's better up there. Yeah. See. It's so busy. It's absolutely nuts how busy it is here. But I came, I saw, and I even got the hat. Look at that. Is that not the official Ape hat or what? I love it. All right, let's get some lunch. I've been absolutely wrecked by this early start and the heat and the sun. Oh, perfect. Grazie. Okay, grazie. Burger, con rucola, a little parmesan. So I'm just gonna kind of cruise to Ortigia, and then I'm, I mean, most things are out of battery again, which is the problem with camping on this trip. Um, to be a little bit picky choosy when I film and then especially with the drone it's like I can only fly so much so and as much as I want to fly here there's so many people and after just crashing it I don't want to even risk something happening it's just it's just not worth it so yeah I'm just gonna kind of I'm just gonna kind of head down the highway and I might go for a swim if there's a nice spot and uh, I'm just taking it easy and uh, yeah go to Ortigia regroup rest charge take a nap and hopefully we'll be back to 100% and uh, ready for the rest of the trip. The breeze is so good. 
Wow, that was uh, that was much needed. It's so crazy that I live in the Mediterranean and that I can swim places like this. <clears throat> ah. Stoked, I'm just super content to be honest. It's hard to beat this. This is what this trip is all about. Lovely. Just showered, had a little rest, made a cup of coffee, and now I'm gonna go out and explore, but I'm just gonna take the film camera, and I think I'll take this camera. I'm gonna leave as much of the stuff behind as I can, because for the first time this trip, I don't have to carry everything, my laptop, hard drives, all the other cameras, because I don't have to worry about somebody breaking in and stealing it. So. I'm quite excited. So I'm just gonna take that and then go explore Artesia.